So I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but I just played with the doorknob. So he thinks I'm leaving. Yes, good boy. No, we haven't started this yet. Try not to come back to him when, or your puppy. Could Try not to come back to your puppy if they are whining like that because it's for attention. They don't like that you left. However, you want to quickly approach in a moment of quiet. So he was quiet for like two seconds. I quickly came out, came back into view, got into it, you know, came on. Yes, good job! Marking the quiet, immediately feed. Always pairing food when you walk away. Yes, good boy. Good. I'm now also disappearing for longer periods, so it's three seconds of time. Then I'm gone for five, seven, ten, and so on. And each time, too, I'm changing up where I disappear from. So it doesn't matter what part of the house I go to. Getting him used to being in the crate by himself without seeing us is fine. Yes, Katara, really. <laughs> that big grumble wasn't even him. It was my puppy. My bunny adult. <laughs> yes, good boy. Yes, good job. Very good. Yes. Good. I'm going to start making it a little harder so my front door is open. doing this touching the doorknob walking towards the door I'm you might even have to break it up into baby steps like if you notice he's really struggling you're gonna stand next to the crate and do this getting used to good 
or you're just slowly walking away and you're coming back up and repeating. So he gets desensitized to you walking away as a trigger to panic. Now when I walk towards the front door, I'm going to drop quite a few. So it keeps them occupied for a little bit. Walk out. Come right back in. Yes, good boy. Now my front door is set up where he can see me walk out. So it's wide open now. I'm just going in and out. Yes, good boy. Good boy. I'm making this short and sweet too. Right now I'm not adding any kind of distance to being outside. you can get a better view of him and me walking out. So again, toss and treats. Yes, good boy. 